Hey, thank you for watching this video. This is Brandon with BrandonJaeger.com. In today's video, I just want to talk to you about the results for my 30-day challenge, the goals that I had going into it, uh, plus a few things that I learned along the way. Hope you enjoy. Hey, so here I am. I'm actually uh, on day 31 uh, of 30 videos in a row. And the goal whenever I first started was to uh, eliminate some of the blocks that I had uh, been having that were holding me back. And I just kind of, uh, I'm just going to put out some thoughts out there into uh, the world just to kind of review and kind of show you the results of what that looks like. Um, you know, I, I wanted to learn to be a creator, to think creatively and brainstorm different things. And I wanted to start jumpstarting my journey. I was tired of procrastinating. And honestly, like whenever it was all coming down to it, a lot of it was fear based. I was eliminating excuses, uh, imposter syndrome. I'm going to do a video, video on imposter syndrome here in the near future too. But um, didn't know what to talk about. Um, I was worried that I didn't have a niche or anything like that. And I still don't. And that's okay. I, uh, I, I really don't care about having a niche figured out at this point in time. Um, I've mainly kept most of my videos focused on obsidian, personal development, uh, book reviews with mind maps and different things that I've been learning along my intermittent fasting journey. And that's really what, where I've kind of focused most of my attention on the videos. Uh, but I have some ideas for some upcoming ones as well. But, um, and actually I'll talk about why I'm here again today, but, uh, cause I was planning on taking today off Sunday, but more on that in an upcoming video. So first, anyway, let's talk about the results. Um, 30 videos published in 30 days. Let me switch over here and show you my, uh, dashboard. Okay, so I'm inside of my channel dashboard here, and you can kind of see some of the, the different uh, book reviews, the fasting updates, uh, Obsidian reviews, and it's kind of interesting to see which ones get the most views and kind of what the topics end up being on. Um, but if what the important thing is right now, just to notice is the date that everything was published. I published uh, consistently every single day for 30 days. Um, going back to... February 16th. And there was definitely one video, this uh, two meals a day versus one meal a day uh, that definitely kind of had most of the views. And let me switch back over here to uh, the other thing. So uh, the two things, so I, I, I did publish the 30 videos in 30 days and then increase YouTube subscribers to 160 and add 20 opt-ins to my email list. So truth be told, I only added three opt-ins into my email list and that's okay. I realized that it ties into um, the, I did not end up putting like lead magnets really in place that I felt were uh, relevant to people and causing enough reason for why people should go to my newsletter to subscribe. So I realize that's something I need to work on here and something that I'll be doing. And I'm going to bring you guys along the journey as I do that. Um, increase YouTube subscribers to 160. Let me pop back over here to my analytics and up here in the upper right hand count or corner 161. So yay, we got that one knocked out. Um, I, I wasn't sure if we were going to get there. And then that one video kind of took off and ended up having a lot of subscribers to it. And it's all kind of cool uh, seeing how it's just slowly building. And even with this, it's, uh, you know, 57 uh, views here, 60 to be able to getting 60 to 70 views a day versus whenever I was first getting started. Actually, if I go back, let's go back through last 365 days you'll see there's barely anything. And then I at least start to have some ripples and action starting to go on over the 30 days. So that's encouraging. I had 127 hours of watch time over the last year. And if I go back over to the last 28 days, almost half of that was literally due to the last 30 days worth of taking action. So that's kind of uh, encouraging. Now let's go ahead and pop back over here to some of the other things that I was looking to accomplish by this 30 day challenge, more comfortability and confidence in front of the camera, not feeling awkward and not caring as much about how I look. And that, actually that's where it is today. I just got up here. It's a Sunday morning. Haven't shaved yet or anything like that. Um, but that's okay. I feel like I've gotten a lot more comfortable. I know I say the word I'm a lot and that's something that I'm, I'm going to really start to do is study my own videos to try to figure out what I can and should be doing to get better. And then I think that um, Future Self Rocks Binder, 
it is actually that's what I was just working on out there before I decided to pop back out here and make this video for all of you. Um, I did not get that finished and up and available uh, for people. I will be doing that here soon. Uh, it is definitely as I look back over these small atomic habits that I've been able to start implementing over the last six months. Um, planning has definitely been one of them. Implementing a morning routine has been one of them. And being able to start then focusing on fasting. Uh, originally for the health end of things and then being able to tie in the biblical end of things with it and being able to just make one small incremental shift and adjustment at a time as I go. Um, it's literally been one thing building upon each other. As a matter of fact, here we are today, I'm making another video whenever I didn't even think I would be. Um, so it's just one thing building upon itself that you just continue to do is, is it becomes more and more of a habit and something that you're going to be uh, diving into systems in place. I do feel that I have some systems. I'm using a different camera, right? Actually, I'm just using the camera off the computer right now. That's something would have bothered me probably two months ago. I would have been like, oh, I have to have this other perfect camera, but I don't. I'm just doing what I have. Uh, I'm going to get the video done and done is better than perfect. That is something that I've learned to go through here. If I spent so much time editing my videos, yes, I know I ought to have a better finished product, but I'm okay sacrificing at this point uh, the perfection versus getting it done and learning from the process. I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, comments below. Uh, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please uh, be subscriber number 162. Uh, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And we'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks.